I've been trying to get to who is it that feels, but I always find it's me. I cannot separate myself from any feelings. I cannot see anything beyond than what I already see is me. I cannot get to this who I feel. This who I feel stuck. But who is it that feels stuck? Like who is it that can't get to? Like you're looking for an answer inside the cage. You're looking for the answer inside the illusion. So you're like, who is it? And you're looking at yourself and you're like, who is it? Who is it? But who is it that's even looking? So notice there is this person that's appearing and being experienced. But the experiencer is not a thing that you can ever find or grab onto or see because it doesn't exist as something. It's not a thing, yet it's in all things. So this you that's looking, that's like, who, 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 like trying to undo, like open the package, rummage through, that person is being experienced. You know that's happening. It's not unconscious. So you're not unconscious of the person, you're conscious of the person. So you're conscious of this person looking, so there must be something conscious of it. But that which is conscious of it is not found, cannot be found, is not in a thing. It's not in a thing. So you will never see it. The person never works at, wakes up. The person can get it intellectually and that can be really helpful for the person because it settles it down. It's like, ha, huh, it's like the dog getting its tail. Like, I finally got the fucker. Um, Who let the dogs out? Who? 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 But there's not actually... Um, consciousness that you can hold on to. You as a person can never see it, but yet the person's being seen. So it's not a personal awakening. It's, it's just known. It's just known. There is looking that isn't contained here, that looking is in all things. It's beautiful, it's miraculous, it's wonderful, and it's in all things, and it's not a thing. If I can never find who is experiencing me, what's the point in trying? How did you find it? <laughs> yeah, what's the point in trying? I didn't find it. That's your projection that there's a Lisa in here that found it. That's a projection. That's not truth. So Lisa didn't find it. Lisa intellectually got it at stages and that rela relaxed Lisa. Like, so the body mind understood it, but that's not who gets it. That's just the kind of like superficial, like intellectual awakening. Like there's, there's something else. It's like the veil is moved and suddenly it's seen. So imagine if you had a bag, like I've done this before on live stream. So you have a bag and I pinch, I pierce like um, 10 holes in that bag. And then inside the bag, I put a light and that light sh shines out of the bag. And you say you could say the light is consciousness and all the holes are different people. 
and um, and you believe that that light belongs to you and is in your body, whereas actually it is something that is beyond you and it's shining out through all people. And that light is consciousness. And the you in that tiny little speck is trying to grab hold of the light, but yet that light is coming from beyond the you, that light, that person cannot see it. But that, that light of consciousness is seeing the person. So you, another way you could say it is if you like um, thought about like a um, virtual reality headset. So like if I were to put on a virtual reality headset and look at the world through a different character, so say I was like an elf. So in this world, I'm Lisa, and in my virtual world, I put it on and I'm an elf. And, and then I experience all the feelings and emotions and the thoughts of the elf. And then finally, I forget I'm Lisa, and I just believe I'm the elf in this dream. That's what's happening with consciousness. But consciousness isn't a thing. And what you're trying to do is you're trying to find the answer to this inside the elf. Whereas it's not the elf that's got the problem, the elf, so you, is a story playing. There's something that beyond that. So it's like in that, in order for me to remember that I'm Lisa and I'm not the elf, it's, um, it's beyond, um, beyond the elf. It's not the elf that works it out. Something else just goes back to itself and just known. So it's beyond you. The elf is like running around going, who am I? Who am I? But the elf will never find the answer inside the dream. But who is experiencing the dream? Began to witness thoughts and feelings, and I wasn't sure if there was a way it was more to it. Just notice, is there another step to us? This, there is a weird feeling of being judged and over concern with what other think, fear of other people's opinions. Yeah. So that's a big part of self because the root of it, if you, if other people judge you badly, they can potentially kill you like at the root of it. Like they can either kill you, like stone you to death in society, shoot you, kill you, or you can be kicked out of society and abandoned. So it's super important to us, our image. And that's a practical thing. So like if I were to uh, run around like advocating how wonderful drugs were or run around like doing poops in the middle of the street, like I'm gonna begin to get in trouble with other humans and um, begin to create problems for myself. So there is a practicality to it that we have to, to an extent, fit into the society. Otherwise, all of us know we get chucked out, we get put in prison, we get killed, we get abandoned by the ones we love, we cause trouble. So there's a practicality to it. But then there is this over-identification with it. Like, and then there's this fear that arises more than likely in the heart area um, or paranoia even, which could be more in the mind, that, um, that you're going to be abandoned or unloved. And that's kind of what you feel with this subject, like the person feels abandoned by God. It's like being born into this human and it has to live this life, so it kind of feels abandoned by God. Sandoned, sandoned, candoned, abandoned. So it's just feeling wherever that is. So the paranoia in the mind comes up or the fears come up and then where do you feel that in your body? Is it in your throat? Which chakra is it? I tend to find that all emotions relate to chakras. 
So if you aren't speaking the truth or you can't express yourself, then it tends to come up in the throat, in the heart, if you feel abandoned or unloved, in the solar plexus, if you aren't doing, lack of choice, frustration, depression, anger, um, fear in the sacral chakra, anxiety, lack of creativity, lack of sexuality, over-sexuality, addiction to, to pornography, and then the root chakra, groundedness, feeling safe, feeling secure, and then without that, it's like feeling like you're going to float away or that you're not safe or secure or you don't belong here. Here is overthinking, over-imagining, and then here is like a disconnection from something big, uh, On my um, website, the reference part, there's um, a book that I've got on there about chakras and the lady in it um, speaks about psychology and the connection to chakras. So they might find that helpful.